So this uh, Bokshu, while still Obaka's head monk, asked Rinzai, How long have you been here, venerable brother? Rinzai replied, Three years. Three years. Four days. One breath. universe. Doing this sazen, this deep samadhi, young Rinzai, no sense of self doing, no getting caught in ideas of why he was doing, or what he was doing it for. Certainly no seeking after approval, or praise. So unassumingly, and diligently, and gratefully, to have this opportunity to come to the monastery and to sit. And I know you too feel this way. To have this opportunity is so precious. Some of you haven't been here for many, many years and to return, right? To return, to feel this. And some of you are relatively new, and to come and just receive this breath of the universe. That's all, that's it. Then the head monk asked, Have you ever questioned the master? Maybe the head monk here noticed somebody is hanging back, maybe worried, maybe not sure. Rinzai said, No, I don't know what to ask. Certainly he wasn't avoiding Doksan. He wasn't holding back out of fear of not being found worthy. He wasn't refraining from Doksan out of some sense of superiority. I don't know anybody's guidance, especially not this person. Just perhaps feeling that he wasn't worthy of taking up Obaku's time, not wanting to resume, just sitting enough. What could be more wonderful? And anyway, as he said, what would I ask? deepest level. Even before awakening, he had this wisdom. What? What could I possibly ask? 
so simple and direct and humble at the same time this question what could I ask what could be added of course many times people don't want to admit that they don't know what to ask and of course trying to appear as if already know, therefore no need to ask, right? This, of course, is a great waste of our lives. We need to put ourselves in a precarious situation. Somebody was laughing at how the thought had come. Well, now I know all about Buddhism. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. But what is the question? What is the question of your life? Hmm? What is your question? your burning question what is the essential question of your life this is what we must do marshalling all our doubts into one not just sitting in what is sometimes called silent illumination this is the Rinzai school it came alive with Master Rinzai of course Obaku already Bokshu already, Wenang, Bodhidharma, but to investigate, to plumb the depths, the depths of our own being, asking, asking, what is this? What is this? What are the questions we must ask? If I ask you, what is your question? Probably no one will say, what are the six realms and the four modes of birth? Thank God. So what is your question? This is a great opportunity. Someone in this room may have the answer. What's it all about? Hmm? What's it all about, anyway? What's it all about? Wonderful question. And how about your doubts? Small doubts, many, many small doubts. Don't try to avoid them. Don't think, oh, these doubts of mine, they're somehow a betrayal. They must mean that I have insufficient faith. Anybody feel that way? Oh, I don't know. Am I in the right place? What is it all about? Maybe I don't belong here. Don't feel you are supposed to have faith. Don't feel, where is my faith so that I can do this practice? That's backwards. Doubts pile up and amass into great doubt. Finally, this great doubt can be the trigger. For 
breaking through. Great faith doesn't come out of complacency, but out of facing our fears, facing what we may feel is inappropriate, unworthy, inconvenient, not to run from them, not trying to make nice with our lives. After all, the demons are our great teachers. So, investigate, plunge into it, ask, and ask 